Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these bird's eye uh, garlic chicken balls. These, they said they're new. Um, I don't know how new they are, but they said they're new. I've never seen them before. Um, it is grilled white meat chicken with zucchini, lentil, rotini pasta, broccoli, carrots, and corn in a garlic sauce. Zucchini, lentil, rotini pasta. So the pasta is all that. I'm assuming because there's only one comma. Um, yeah, pasta made with lentil flour and zucchini. Hmm, it's interesting. Uh, let's see where's the size here. Nine ounce, 255 grams for the meal. We bought these at Kroger. They were four dollars and nine cents, which is not too awful. Bad. I mean, it's a little expensive, but it's not. I mean, it's not your dollar meal, that's for sure. But there's been more expensive ones. Um, 290 calories. It's not bad. There's your other info. Whatever you want out of that. Um, kind of talks about the the pasta there. Where's the direction? Oh, those are the direction stuff. Um, so microwave only, do not use if film is broken, that way, you know, nobody's stuck something in there. Uh, microwave and high for, let's see, it says do not do conventional. I've seen it, it didn't say anything about venting it. So, oh, no need to vent, if I kept reading. Microwave and high for three and a half to four and a half minutes, no need to vent, I'll probably do it for four. Um, stir the steamed food into sauce bowl. Um, careful, it's hot, and check the food is cooked thoroughly. So this is like one of those old steamer balls. I, we, I had one of these a long time ago. I did have a pool thing, but it was just easy to um, I had one of these a long time ago, the steamer balls, but I had one of these for a long time. So you've got a bowl um, of stuff on top of like the sauces underneath. So there's two separate bowls here, and you'll dump, yeah, see, I don't know if you can tell there's sauce on the bottom. But anyway, once you've steamed it, um, you're going to dump the stuff on top into the bottom and then you stir it up. So anyway, I'm going to um, be right back when this comes out of the microwave. All right, here it is out of the microwave. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So I have to dump this top ball into the bottom ball. So if you take this, there's your sauce. Yeah, yeah, I made it. Oh, steam. Steam, evil steam. All right, so anyway, now I'm going to stir that up in the sauce. <laughs> After you can see it again, I tell you what, it had plenty of chicken in it, quite a bit of chicken, a decent amount of pasta. The broccoli smells really good too, and, and it's got a really strong uh, um, garlic smell. So, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this cool off for a bit. I'll stir it up for a bit more, but I'm gonna let it cool off, and um, I'll be right back. Okay, it's had a little time to cool off, so here's the bottom. I'm gonna take it. it has chicken and broccoli and pasta and carrots, and it's got a piece of corn on there. It has a carrot in there somewhere. Yeah, it's in. The, it's buried in the middle, but it's there. The pasta is a different texture. Let me try a piece of pasta by itself. The flavors are really good. The pasta is, um, it's not like a regular pasta where, um, I don't know, it's kind of um, a soft, but it has a little bit of a toughness to it. Um, this almost has a, I won't say rubbery, because rubbery makes it seem like it's really like chewy, chewy. It has a denseness. That's, a, that's the best word I can up to describe it it's denser it's not bad it has a, a okay flavor it's not as good as just like a regular pasta but it's okay um there's a chicken taste like chicken's good and tender the broccoli um i can tell you it was good it's good and tender the dreaded carrot That's actually not bad either because it's really good and cooked. Um, so it's good and tender. Um, Texture-wise, everything's good except maybe the pasta a little bit. Um, it, it's just different. It's not bad. It's just different. Um, the flavors, though, are pretty decent. Um, and, the, you know, it's garlic, but it doesn't have an overpowering garlic flavor. I mean, it, you can tell there's garlic there, but it's not like, uh, wow, that's really garlicky. You know, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, I don't think it's too bad. I'm, I'm actually going to give this one a four. Um, I like the flavors of the vegetables. Um, really work well. The broccoli and the uh, corn really works well. And the um, the carrots, I can live with them. You know, they, they don't have a strong flavor in this, so it's good. Um, the chicken's really good and tender. It has a good flavor. The sauce is good and flavorful. Um, the pasta is, is, like I said, just a little different. You just, you just got used to it. It's, it's nothing, like, really off-putting. Some people might be off-put by it, but me, I'm not off-put by it. But 
it's just slightly different texture. Um, and flavor wise, it's slightly different, but it's not like you eat it with everything else and you don't, you'll never know the difference. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with a four. Definitely worth trying out. It's, it's, uh, it is for something, so just keep that in mind. It is, it's not a dollar a meal or two dollar meal, so it is more expensive, but um, yeah, cooks pretty quick, pretty easy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.